Recently, Hailey Bieber has been receiving a ton of backlash over being a suspected mean girl and being obsessed with Selena Gomez. But that's not the only thing Hailey is getting backlash for. For a while now, Hailey has been getting called out over her skincare brand Road, and it seems like a lot of people aren't happy with it. From broken packaging, burnt lips, and bad reactions, the Road social media pages have been filled with tons of people leaving complaints even before all this Hailey Selena drama broke out. Today, we're gonna be talking about Road and all the drama that's followed them since they launched earlier last year. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Last June, Hailey launched her skincare brand called Road Skin with three main products. She has a peptide glazing fluid, a peptide lip treatment, and a barrier restore cream. But this launch didn't come without some drama. Hailey was hit with a huge lawsuit from another long-established brand also called Road. According to People Magazine, the Road clothing brand has been in business for nine years and they officially filed a lawsuit against Hailey Bieber. The clothing brand Road said they had plans to expand into skincare as well, and they felt like things were gonna get really confusing for their customers. They're already a really well-established brand making millions of dollars a year, and their customers were already mistakenly taking Haley's Road instead of theirs on Instagram. In an Instagram statement, the clothing brand wrote, We admire Haley. She has worked hard and earned the ability to create her own skincare line. We don't wanna sue Haley. We want to celebrate her. As fellow women entrepreneurs, we wish her every success. Haley could choose any brand for her skincare line. We have only the brand name Road that we built. That's why we didn't sell her our brand when she asked four years ago and why we asked her now to change her skincare line's brand. Her using our brand is hurting our company, our employees, our customers, and our partners. And Haley got a ton of backlash over this. People felt like she was stepping all over a well-established brand simply because she's Hailey Bieber and thought she could easily get away with it. Apparently, Road says that Bieber tried to buy the mark in 2018 and they said no. Afterwards, Bieber decided to launch the brand anyways with the trademark application just pending. And this is allegedly causing confusion in the marketplace. Plaintiff said they didn't want to sue Bieber. They get that she wanted to use her middle name in her brand. But the law is clear, you can't just create brand confusion just because you want to use your middle name. But so far, it does actually seem like things are going in Haley's favor. A judge denied the clothing brand's motion, allowing Haley to use Road for now. Vanity Fair covered the story and they wrote, A judge has ruled that Haley Bieber can move forward with her skincare brand Road for now after a clothing brand by the same name filed a trademark infringement lawsuit against her back in June, in which they required a preliminary injunction. But the clothing brand Road's lawyers aren't calling this a victory for Haley just yet. Vanity Fair continued, writing, A spokesperson for the Road clothing brand said in their own statement that this ruling isn't a victory for Bieber, but rather simply a decision by the judge not to prohibit Haley Bieber's skincare line from using our brand name while litigation proceeds deferring the ruling until we have the opportunity to gather more evidence. So Haley's brand is already off to a bit of a rocky start, and it doesn't just stop there. Lately, there's been a ton of people coming out with reviews on the Road Peptide Lip Treatment, and some people are having major issues. The first issue I've seen is people complaining about a grainy texture in their lip treatment, mainly with the watermelon flavor. Look what arrived today. Packaging 10 out of 10. This is grainy. Ew. Let's see what this is all about. It smells really good. Mmm, that's pretty. Oh no. It's a little grainy. I remember like seeing TikToks and some people were like, why is this so grainy? Mine's grainy. And tons of customers under these videos are all saying that they had the same experience. Wait, is it not supposed to be gritty? I feel like mine turned gritty a month or so after having them. In the beginning, they were so smooth. I don't know why. The way so many of these people are getting it formulated wrong is actually concerning. And at this point, gritty texture is the least of Road's worries because now people are complaining that the watermelon flavor is giving them a horrible allergic reaction. I just need to know if this has happened to anyone else. Um, I bought this Road lip balm when it first launched, like the very first time. It's the watermelon one. When I first got it, 
I used it with no problems. Like, I put it on every night, every day. Literally, it was my regular lip balm. But now, I can't even wear it anymore because it's literally giving my lips, like, freaking chemical burns or something. I mean, it's, like, kind of hard to see on camera, but um, that's my lips post blistering, peeling, and um, being extremely dry from this product. The Road Skin Lip Treatment in Watermelon Slice. Um, I was It started out like almost immediately, but I was kind of in denial that it was this product because it's clean. Not that that matters, clearly. Um, but I was wondering if this has happened to anyone else because this hurts. Tried the Haley Bieber Lip Treatment by Road. Woke up the next morning with severe blistering. This is the watermelon lip glaze. Okay, it's gonna get dark. Um, I've been using it for about a month and probably three weeks ago, I noticed my lips burning so bad. There were open sores like on either side. I thought it was just because it's getting cold. I'm out of breath. And I told my friend about it because she has the same one and she was fine. And now I just saw a TikTok that the watermelon um, scent of this is making people's lips burn off. And that's totally what's been happening to me. Yo, my lips are burning from this road lip treatment. Should I be concerned? My lips are currently dying thanks to the road peptide lip treatment. And once again, so many people in the comments of these videos are all having the same issues. We had people writing, wait, I use it like every day and my lips have been burnt for a week and I had no idea what it was from. Same, I kept getting really bad blisters. I thought it was only me. This happened to me. I stopped using it a month ago. I'm still dealing with dry cracked lips. I tried Vaseline, not working. This is late, but I had to see if someone else had issues with this. I wouldn't say mine was as severe, but it absolutely dried my lips out. My lips were on fire and wounded. I had to stop using it. And at first I was like, okay, are all these people just saying this because they're team Selena and they're trying to drag Haley? But actually, all these comments are from last year, long before any of this drama broke out. Someone on TikTok recently posted a video who had the exact same reaction, but she found out why she was having the reaction. The lip treatments contain something that I'm going to try to pronounce, and I think it's like Orbinia seed oil, which is a nut oil, and there's no warning label anywhere on the product. Hello. I bought the Hailey Bieber skincare kit, and it turns out they do not, for their peptide lip treatments, they do not um, explicitly say that there is a tree nut oil in it, and I am allergic to tree nuts. Five minutes after putting on the lip treatment that I got in the mail today, this happened to my face. Here's some more pics of my face, the other side of my face, and hives growing on my forehead and on my cheek. Every single one of them has this Orbigana something seed oil. Through research, I have found that it is a nut oil, and if you're allergic to tree nuts, you should not use oils derived from tree nuts. There is no nut warning and that is extremely concerning so for my tree nut allergy or nut allergy people do not get the peptide lip treatments and wrote i'm waiting on my email from you back and i'd like a refund and better labeling and so many people under this video are thanking this creator for calling this out because they would have never thought that that ingredient was in the nut family one person said as a fellow tree nut allergy girly i never would have thought to check out the oils in lip products but thanks to this video, I definitely will be more aware. And tons of people are saying that she should consider suing. One person wrote, lawsuit. I'm pretty sure if anything contains or may contain the top eight allergens, that has to be stated. But apparently in the US, only food has to be listed with an allergen warning. This one website says, do the food allergen labeling laws apply to cosmetics? No, the Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act only applies to food products regulated by the FDA. 
Even if they have food ingredients, cosmetics are not food products. Cosmetics manufacturers do not have to list common food allergens in plain English. The package does not have to clearly state that the product contains a food allergen. The package does not have to provide a warning that the product may be cross-contaminated by a common food allergen. So no, legally, Haley doesn't have to disclose that her product contains an allergen, but would it be a good idea to? I would say probably, but unfortunately, most skincare and cosmetics brands skip the warning and you have to thoroughly read the ingredients list and dissect it yourself. I do want to point out and give credit where credit is due because I think something really good that Rode does is they give you the option to click on the ingredient and it gives you a detailed explanation of what it is and what it's used for. So yes, it does say it's a nut oil, but you do have to click on the key ingredients, click on view more, and then click on the ones that you aren't sure of. It's definitely more than most brands do, but I can understand why someone with a serious allergy would want a more clear warning. So could all these people be having a bad reaction or be allergic to tree nuts? That's very possible, but a lot of people have been pointing out that some people just might be having a negative reaction to peptides. When you look up the side effects of peptides in skincare, many websites claim the same thing. Topical creams and ointments containing peptides may cause skin symptoms such as skin sensitivity, rash, and itching. Individuals should always buy from a reputable company and discontinue use if adverse reactions occur. And Road does actually have a warning on their Instagram encouraging everyone to do a patch test. Me knowing that I have sensitive skin and seeing just how many people are having adverse reactions, I'd probably steer clear of the watermelon lip treatment, but that's just because I know my skin. Not everyone is going to have the same reaction, so while some people hate it and it causes a huge breakout, others may love it and swear by it. Another huge thing that people are complaining about is the packaging of the peptide glazing fluid. For months now, people have been complaining about the packaging breaking, the pump breaking after one use, and then not being able to get any product out. Their Instagram is filled with complaints over it, with people writing things like, Great product, but the packaging is not functional. The pump broke and there's still product left, so I have to open it and use it with my fingers. Can we fix the bottle though? I would probably buy it again if the pump didn't keep messing up. It's happened twice now. Had to take the cap off because the bottle does not work. Love the product, but the bottle needs an upgrade. So yeah, I have seen that Rhoda's offered refunds to people who got those grainy lip products, and they do seem to ask people who claim to have had a bad reaction to DM them. Right now, most of their social media is just filled with people talking about the Selena Haley drama and spamming how much better Rare is compared to Rode. At this point, there's even pH tests being done over on TikTok comparing Rode and Rare. Like, this drama has truly taken over every single corner of the internet. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Have you tried Rode? And if you have, did you like it? Or have you experienced something similar to what we talked about today? Let me know, and I'll see you next time.